Uh, hello world, today is the fourth um, report from the D-Day, uh, 7th March 2015, number 4. And pardon me for being uh, half naked in my apartment, but it's hot. So I just came from Camellia Hospital, where I talked to a very nice gentleman, Dr. Srang Sorotea, specialist for infections. And, well, in short, I have um, perfectly normal uh, infection, which is you, uh, caused by Esterichia coli, and I've been having it for a very long time, short. I have a couple of infections, and I badly needed endocannabinoids for uh, more than a decade. And I badly needed them past three years, but I could never get a Rick Simpson therapy. Therefore, my immune system, which is also attacked by the Morgellons, yes, they do exist, believe it or not, it's up to you, whether you're fascist or not. And uh, microwaves, again, if you're fascist, then they don't exist, but if you're targeted, they do. So, my immune system went down, and in short, Esterichia coli went up, so now the only only antibiotic which can kill it is Meronem, which will cost me $100 per day, 7 days, plus 85 for a room, so which would be only with a room $1,300, 7 days, plus extra, easily could pile up, easily, according doctor, $2,000, $2,000. You know, do you know how much is for me two thousand dollars? Now consider when the whole sickness skyrocketed, that I was uh, going through the leftovers to feed myself. I have barely for to pay rent, and uh, my friend sent me hundred dollars ASAP, and uh, my best mate and that you know fed me for a very long time. And then my mother sent me quite a bit of money, $300, and this is what I have now. In short, I had the money for tests and for doctors, and I still have money because I'm saving it, but you know what? I have money for one day maybe in this hospital, which is 185 plus. <laughs> you know, that's how it is. I asked the doctor if you know some cheaper hospital, I'm gonna check it online if there are some local hospitals which are pumping in uh, Meronem 1 gram uh, intramusculi or IV in Venom, um, cheaper, but uh, I really need to think creatively and actually make myself this Rick Simpson paste, I've been, well, with all the obstacles called the system in Illuminati, I've been really trying to get it, but it's harder <laughs> it's harder than you think when you are seen so it's up to you if you live in Colorado and if it's legal in your country well it ain't in Croatia where I'm from and it ain't in Cambodia so fuck it mate it's just a different place and a different pocket budget right yeah uh, but I'm white yeah. but it doesn't make me rich uh, but it doesn't make me beer drinking stupid egoistic idiot either so there is one good part about me so how to fix this oh yeah uh, how much time right according young doctor it was like i have like seven days stops to live because it's like i really have a feverish i mean i have during night i have fever and i was suppressing it by the antibiotics which you know of course it grew resistant so i have like one week and according to the most more positive uh, uh, senior doctor, Dr. Strang Sorotea, I have, you know, two weeks. It could be, uh, so today is the seventh. I calculated the, um, the worst possible scenario. I, I could die by the 14th by in seven days, and maybe I could live two weeks uh, by the 21st uh, May. So actually, that concludes my previous question, how long will I live? Probably till the end of this month, if I don't manage to find money, either for Meronem or either for Rick Simpson. So how it goes with the system? System offers you its own drug, which is not safe, but it's $2,000 for to stay in his hotel in a small room and to be pumped. $2,000, this is one option. So you have to have $2,000. Good. Another option is uh, go to the go to the prison. If you try to score half kilo of some ganja and try to process it, then you're totally dead. So you have like either either you pay the system two thousand dollars and you may believe, or you try to do your own thing and then you 
probably, most probably, gonna be arrested and of course kept in prison. And then they got just burned <laughs> in a, in a first monastery, which is cooperating with the, with the prison where they're burning stuff. People like me. So um, yeah, you know, I told you this is how a targeted individual ends up either in prison or in mental institution or in a, or homeless or killed. And um, well, I hope it's gonna be in option number five, something very spiritual and beautiful. But um, yeah, now it's time to till, think cool and uh, to start emailing Mama. Mama is not responding for some time, she's very sick. My best friend Nella, he of course, <laughs> there is no way that he can manage $2,000, hello. Um, but you know, it, at least so does he know my ex, which is medicine which is a doctor, well, you know what, from her I'm just gonna get a pile of shit because she, as a medical doctor, she is vaccinated by the connection between money and medicine because she's a doctor. So she can tell you what you need to do and this is exactly what I've done, but um, the rest of it is, you know, suck, uh, uh, suck it up and puny pare, suck it up and pff, spit the money. Well, gladly, but all I can spit is diarrhea lately. So... Um, yeah, you know, c'est la vie, and uh, I, I know I'm gonna make it. I just wonder how. Probably mama gonna send money, that's for sure. And uh, and then I'm gonna go to the expensive hospital, and then they're gonna pump me up, and then it's gonna be fine for maybe a while, and then something else gonna come up. Because I'm gonna die if I do not take endocannabinoids into my system, endocannabinoids which have been produced by my brain, and everybody's brain because we humans and plant called cannabis or colloquially known as marijuana yes that's the one and also called ganja and that actually will plant especially if it's indica has endocannabinoids and this is what every human being needs especially me I actually need it far more than you uh, I'm more sensitive and I could practically live on it really and I feel that I could actually I feel I really need to eat um, cannabis seeds. I really crave for that. My body is really craving for that a lot. Um, but I'm so detached from it, you know, and I'm virtually dying. Okay? Um, what else would you like to know? Um, let's bet. I bet with anybody, but not too much. That I'm definitely gonna live, that I definitely gonna uh, celebrate my birthday, gonna be April 26th. I'm sure, I'm totally sure about that. I don't doubt. I'm gonna live. Because I wanna live. Because this is not the end. I want to stay till the very end. And one Esterisha Coli of $2,000 is not gonna kill me, okay? I'm gonna fix it one way or another. Now let's see what I can get for my camera in the pawn shop. Yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, guys. Um, good luck on you. May the fortune smile on the good ones. <laughs>